Thanks, Kathy. You, you touched on this next question. Um, you know, could there ever be an, an outright ban in the U.S. on, on Bitcoin? Um, I, I don't know. You've seen if you have any other thoughts there. Yeah, I, I mean, I think what's really interesting is, I mean, the very fact that this is being acknowledged as a potential threat to monetary policy uh, is definitely a change of tune from what we've seen just a few years ago. Uh, I think just this question alone goes to show how far Bitcoin has come from you know, being a, a, just this nerd money or this VC pump and dump money uh, to now you know, governments questioning whether or not uh, it poses a threat. Um, in the US specifically, uh, I think at this stage, it's going to be very hard to ban. Um, at this point, there are just so many interested parties in Bitcoin and there is no single button that the government can press to shut Bitcoin down. Uh, so really, the more establish it establishes itself, the harder it is to stop. Uh, I think trying to ban Bitcoin today would really be uh, an attack on the balance sheets of corporations like a Tesla or Square, <laughs> on funds, on banks, on investors. Um, and then given the borderless apolitical nature of Bitcoin, uh, nation states are going to realize that banning Bitcoin is like banning the internet, uh, which means that for every country that bans it, you'll have another country that's going to actively promote it uh, and going to attempt to encourage capital and talent from businesses and entrepreneurs who are actually actively involved um, in, in, in this industry. Um, so at this stage, I think Bitcoin has reached a tipping point where um, it is not in the U.S.'s best interest to ban it. And... Uh, we're likely going to perhaps see regulation, but um, I doubt an outright ban. Yeah, and uh, maybe, uh, Yassine, you want to talk about the changes uh, at the SEC in this regard? Sure. So, um, we know that Gary Gensler was uh, nominated as uh, SEC uh, commissioner, um, which has been very interesting uh, when discussing the implications for the crypto industry. Uh, we know that as a regulator, Gary Ginsler is very likely the most well-versed uh, regulator in the crypto and Bitcoin space. Um, he, he, prior to, to his involvement in the SEC, he was not only involved in the CFTC, but was also um, involved at MIT as a professor for a blockchain and crypto um, class. Uh, he was also an advisor for the MIT uh, Digital Currency Initiative. Um, all that to say that we feel very strongly about um, his understanding of the crypto space. Um, now, the implications from a regulatory standpoint, um, you know, we know that Gary Gensler um, likes to regulate and he will likely heavily uh, figure out a way to establish himself in the crypto space by regulating it. Uh, but in the long term, I think that this will fare well uh, for Bitcoin. Um, and we have yet to see how it might fare for other cryptocurrencies. You know, the recent news with XRP uh, being deemed a security and questions around whether other crypto assets are uh, unregistered securities, um, we might likely see negative implications there. Uh, but given his strong understanding of Bitcoin um, and how positively he's spoken about the blockchain opportunity, um, you know, this this is a, a net positive. And, and I'd just add that... Um... The director of research at, uh, of crypto uh, at the SEC, and there has been such a, a person uh, for at least, I think, five years now, um, she uh, has been promoted uh, so that she reports directly to the chairman of the SEC, Gensler. Um, I don't think he's uh, been formally uh, appointed yet. I mean, he's been appointed, but I think the vote on him uh, has to take place. Um, uh, but we're pretty sure that he's going to be in. So you've got two uh, two people really at the top of the SEC, extremely well-versed in uh, crypto. I would say that Gary Gensler is much more pro-Bitcoin, and uh, I would, I would uh, suggest that, uh, you know, the, those other, the, the ripple-like crypto assets out there uh, might have uh, more of a problem than they uh, uh, would have expected um, now that Gensler is going to be in charge. Will governments, uh, do you think governments will create their own cryptocurrencies? Uh, yes, we 
not only think they will, but we know that they have begun. Uh, I think China specifically uh, with the digital renminbi um, is at the forefront of creating what is called a central bank digital currency or CBDC. Uh, we often get asked the question what the potential impact on um, a government created cryptocurrency would be uh, to, to Bitcoin. Uh, and our response is that really the only thing similar to the central bank digital currencies with Bitcoin is the name or the label cryptocurrency. Um, and that if anything, uh, given the very nature of these digital currencies uh, being still tied to uh, the central bank monetary policy, um, this really just further reinforces Bitcoin as an alternative to central banking. Um, if anything, these central bank digital currencies just provide uh, a mechanism for governments to try to maintain control over their monetary policy. Uh, and then by extension, over the economic activity and the transact the flow of transactions between consumers um, uh, across, uh, across their country. Uh, we think that this will likely ha have more of a threat on commercial banks than on cryptocurrencies, in that a central bank will likely eliminate the need for a commercial bank uh, by going directly to retail instead of um, traditionally uh, going from wholesale to commercial banks to retail. Yeah, and I would add uh, to what Yassin just said, uh, for those who are concerned uh, about Bitcoin being um, shut down by governments, uh, we believe that their, uh, their, their decisions, and they are uh, uh, proliferating around the world, to issue their own CBDCs uh, is actually validating the space and, and, and lowering the risk of uh, Bitcoin being banned. Uh, and, and I also, besides uh, the control, being able to control, understand what's going on in the economy, a lot of these central banks, uh, effectively, th there is no difference here. Their monetary policies are still going to be determined by human beings as opposed to Bitcoin's monetary pol policy being effectively mathematically metered, uh, you know, and uh, the inflation rate dropping over the years to effectively nil.